Hey guys, welcome back. As you probably know by now, I was commissioned by Calgary Zoo in Canada to make two dolls for their educational programs. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through how I made the second doll, which is an eye eye. So I'm starting off by making glass eyes with this particular doll and I'm just using some dome glass cabochons and hand painting them myself with actually nail polish and acrylic paints. So it was a little bit of a lengthy process as I had to paint multiple layers of the yellow. As you can see, it's a little bit see-through, so I had to paint multiple layers. So I'm actually sculpting the head um, with this one and not making a resin cast just because I want it to be sort of original and have those glass eyes in it. So I'm using Sculpey Original for this and I'm starting off by using a ball of aluminium um, just so it doesn't use so much material and also for weight purposes so it's not as heavy as having a, a solid ball of Sculpey. So as you know, Sculpey does need to be kneaded quite a bit. Um, that's why I went for the Sculpey original because um, it's winter here and my hands get really stiff and I find it really difficult to manipulate the clay. So this is a good alternative for those with weaker hands. So this is the base of the head and I'm just roughing in where the eyes are going to go and then I'll be adding some more clay to the snout area. So there's quite a bit of fiddling around to get the dimensions and the shape of the head right, otherwise it looks a bit lopsided. And I'm adding the eyes in right now and then I'm going to sculpt around it so it just gives it a bit more of a shape. So I'm just going in and defining uh, the eyes a little bit here with a tool that's used for dentistry actually and you can probably find one on eBay or anything like that. So here I'm roughing in the mouth, uh, it looks a bit funny right now but I will define it a bit more later on. So I'm just sculpting the nose here and I like to do it separately just because I find this technique a bit better and easier to shape. And if I don't like it, I can just rip it off. So I'm roughing in the nostrils here with a little ball tool that actually Sculpey makes. Nails are always a handy tool. Usually with my dolls I have a specific look for them where I have this little worm thing around their eyes and it's just something I like to do. I think it gives it more personality and I'm able to control the look of the doll a bit better. Okay, just the final touches and smoothing things out before I add the fur texture on. 
So I get a lot of questions asking why I actually add fur texture to my dolls if I'm going to cover it in fur anyway. And I do this for a couple of reasons. One is because it helps me with fur direction when I'm actually laying the fur and two it acts as an adhesive. And thirdly I find that it gives the head more texture and definition. Okay, up to the painting. So I'm going to go in with my Chromacryl black paint and I'm going to paint it around the eyes. So the beauty of glass eyes is if you get paint on the eyes you can just wipe it off with a, a wet uh, brush. And probably best not to use your hand as a cloth. Right, let's go in and do the second eye. So I'm also filling in the nostrils as black, but I'm going to go over the nose with a uh, skin colour. So here's a quick little look. It's coming together really nicely. So I'm painting the nose now and I'm doing sort of a custom colour with the skin colour Matisse and a brownie sort of red um, chroma grill paint. So these are the II hands and they're really quite special because they're poseable. I have recorded the process so if you do want me to make a video on that process do let me know in the comments below. Alright back to the process. So I'm just sewing up the legs here using that same ladder stitch. So I normally use this tacky fabric glue to stick the fur to the hands but this time considering the material I used for the hands it didn't actually stick so I had to use a different type of glue and I just used some super glue and it stuck perfectly. Alright guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. The mouse lemur and the eye eye are currently on display at the zoo itself. So if you live in Canada, uh, definitely pop in and have a look. If you have any ideas for dolls you want me to make or any tutorials you want me to make, do let me know in the comments down below. And thank you for watching. Bye!